Hello and welcome. Um, another um, thing we've uh, often mentioned with uh, the Astro Photography tool is the ability to be able to plan sessions with it, um, to plan um, you know, what pictures you're going to take, which ISO and so forth. What we've got here is we've actually got Saturn that's uh, come into the skies and I'm just about to demonstrate this feature using that lovely planet. I'm just going to the reason is the default that it comes in with which is 30 seconds exposure so it's designed definitely for the uh, deep sky but that's a bit more composed for us there and obviously when we zoom back out there we are so we're focused anyway now what I'm going to do is rather than keep on clicking shoot at a certain ISO I'm going to set up a plan to do it the way we do that is on the camera tab we click on edit and we're interested in adding a new light frames pan you notice from here you can do this for focusing uh, dark frames if you're going to take dark frames and so on but we're going to do this for adding light frames at the minute so there we have it exposure I'm interested in about say one second and I'm going to take it at ISO 100 the pause, shall we say a second um, obviously you can put in what you fancy here, depends on your kit and I'm going to take five subs the quality, I'm going to ask for raw and I've got no filter and I'm going to add that as new and then I'm going to click on OK now the thing to keep in mind here is this does not work with the live view on, so if you want to highlight that and then click on the live view to turn it off. That highlights the start button. Then if we click on start, that is now working through the five shots we have uh, programmed that to take for Saturn. And that's now going to take those shots and uh, save them just uh, takes a bit longer than you <laughs> sort of program it to take but you can pause and stop at any time through this as well uh, which is always a good thing so once it's done which it now has because stop is no longer highlighted we can pop along maybe and see what it's taken so obviously you can pull up uh, you can it's going to be about yeah 20 well let's see what's in here we've had a bit of a play earlier on but here's our images that we've taken and the great thing about this facility is it saves it into a folder every time I don't know what this messy stuff is that we're seeing here I'll have to re I'll have to ask the developer, but um, by and large, um, when you look at the image, what you've got, um, and that's what I've uploaded on Facebook. So why it's done that on my system, I don't know. But what it's done is it change it saves everything to that folder. And what you can do is you can have, depending on whichever plan you're using, you can sort of decide on where it's to save. So for example, if you go into Tools and APT Settings and then you can go into here so image you can group by plan type which means probably why it's all bunched a whole lot into one because I've done it based upon one plan so it'll put everything into there and it'll save it by name and um, date and time if you want to and also by suffix but whichever nomenclature you want to use you can save it by that so if you've got a plan for planetary you can have one for Jupiter one for um, Saturn then you can have one for M1 which you can have different exposure um, settings for each one of them so you can sort of um, divide them out in that way if you want to so that's another uh, pretty neat feature with this software and obviously clearly one of my favorites is always going to be take a shot as I see so I'm going to lower that down, I don't need an ISO 1600 for Saturn there we are, zoom in 
and hopefully there we are I think I've just been looking at the uh, one of the images there so just a bit of getting used to on that front Make sure that you're looking at a looking at the live view and not looking at the an image that's already been previously taken so what I'm going to do is just lower that down. That looks a bit more like it. Um, it's fluttering around like that because of seeing conditions. Saturn hasn't long since um, risen, even though it's freezing cold. There's not too much by way of condensation yet. And Saturn's still quite low in the sky, so that's pretty much what we've got there. But just a little tip for you while, well, while you're here, if, you, if, if, you'd, if you'd like, is I'm just going to quickly, if I can, if it'll let me. No. Oh. You can sort of see and focus in on how Saturn would look when you take the image. For some reason when you click on the the live view button a couple of times it does revert back to default. As I say, this is still a young software and obviously the um, author He's taking suggestions on how to uh, iron these bugs out. But that's said and done. What a beautiful way it does it. So we've now been able to zoom in. And I'm going to get the optimum focus on Saturn. Now I've done the best I can there I think. I know my optics are collimated because I did that earlier. That's probably about the best I'm going to take. So for all time's sake, take a quick shot. And there we have it, but um, clearly you, you probably need to know what settings you're going to use in advance for that. So uh, still the functionality is there and I just wanted to show that to you. So I um, hope that's been informative and thank you for watching.